Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, normalization transformation uh, with one simple scenario uh, question like uh, how to convert uh, rows to column. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk you through with uh, the basic example uh, with approach one that is like uh, taking the source information uh, what we have with uh, three columns that three columns uh, each column will be passed into expression transformation from that uh, three instance target instance will be created and each instance we are going to pass the column information so with the result of that uh, the source column mm, sorry source table what it has single row with the three columns it will be converted uh, in target side um, with the uh, three rows okay uh, that is as a column conversion it's same like a pivot what you see in um, queries uh, and the approach to we are going to apply the same thing because in some scenario what happen um, uh, uh, if the if the uh, number of rows changes uh, varies so the approach one is not feasible so considering that situation it's better to use normalizer transformation in a better way it will dynamically handle the situation so you no need to worry on uh, manual uh, means applying uh, this much of expression applying three much uh, three uh, target instance uh, doing all these repetitions and uh, you can avoid it will lead to the performance issue so um, uh, this is the uh, this is the best approach and this is uh, this is like this is not a good approach but uh, for understanding the flow we can um, consider approach one so let us see in sql developer how the data is look like so this is what uh, the example i took it uh, from the source side so if you see here uh, in the result column one column two column three the is in a single row with the three column information uh, for column one you see abc and column two bc D and column 3 CD is there this column information we are going to convert uh, with the result set see this target side the single column is there it will come as a individual row like in um, single row three columns what you say that will be converted into rows okay and that column information converted into rows that's what you are going to see it here okay uh, sorry actually I should I uh, should read the uh, it's like a column into rows we can say okay so here um okay let us try to create a mapping to achieve the same okay okay it's so the first approach let us try to do the approach num approach one this one okay so uh, um, opening up with source and creating a three expression and target three instance how we can load it and achieve this okay let us try to do that okay so approach one okay i'm going to mapping and creating a mapping here and selecting the source okay so it is oracle source Okay, source. So I selected the source. This is the source table. If you see the preview data, whatever we saw in SQL Developer, you'll see the same result set. That is a single row with three columns. Okay, these three column information we are going to convert into row. Okay, now next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the expression transformation here. Let me uh, delete this one expression transformation okay three expression transformation for three columns okay from the source so one two and three okay so oh, let's go to the expression one here 
let us try to add only the corresponding column what we need it so i'm creating a new rule and removing the entire rule and keeping only column one here in the expression one and similarly i'm going to do that into the second thing second expression okay removing the rule and configuring and retaining only column two in the expression two and the third one column three okay so i'm going to remove that and keep the column three okay now expression transformation is ready so for each expression transformation holds each column correct from the source side so correspondingly we have to create a three target instance okay i'm going to do that okay so map this and ensure that field mapping has been taken care here so before to that select the target the target we know right like this is the target table tgt row info so select the table and field mapping okay and similarly you need to do that okay uh, other thing also field mapping map the column okay and finally the third column target again select the source uh, target is oracle here okay and you can select the field mapping so now this is done so as i told you so three columns three expression holds each column information and each expression going to pass on into the target each instance target one target two target three kind of now let us save the mapping okay the mapping is valid let's try to run it and verify that it's it's producing the results of what we expected okay the job has been kicked off now so let's wait for it to complete okay the job has been completed now now you can see from source one row which consists of three columns it's the columns have been converted into three rows in the target okay so each uh, row or the column represents rows right so that has been passed into three target instances so now let's go and see where the target records have been loaded see the results have been loaded so this is the approach one but as i told again this approach is not the correct way because the the columns rows a uh, column grows and uh, the performance also uh, not that much great so it's better to make use of normalizers in a better way okay let us jump and do that using the same with the normalizer transformation okay so i'm going to do that mapping create a mapping here okay uh, source so before to that let me try to truncate the target so truncated so let us double check that it is the okay so it's empty so now select it select the source
So now we can introduce the normalizer transformation in between to perform the columns to rows conversion. Okay. So okay. So now here the normalizer transformation if you see the incoming fields all three columns have been from the source or uh, we can see that but the next part is if you want generate you can generate the key but in this case i'm not going to do that and coming back to this create field section just simply go all the way to new field and say uh, sorry not create field uh, select from the incoming fields okay select uh, all columns <clears throat> sorry just a second say column that's it okay and mention the occurrence as three because we have three columns right okay once you done you can see uh, um, see uh, we don't need generate key here yeah, as I told so I'm going to this is the generated uh, column information for uniqueness so so and coming back to here once it is uh, mentioned the three occurrences mentioned because why i mentioned three occurrence we have three columns in a row it represents that is the reason i'm mentioning three occurrences so once it is done if you go back to the field mapping section you can see three columns uh, uh, automatically generated you see that so now we can map accordingly uh, um, the, with the corresponding field information column one column two column three okay so once this is done we can directly go to the target side here in the target side select the target as usual from oracle Okay, so the target row. Okay, so here um, so you can see the target fields is the column, uh, single column which holds uh, the converted uh, rows. Okay, now if you go back to the field mapping, you can see that the single column only represents from the source, but internally it converts us into three columns. So that's what uh, the normalizer will do in the internally. That's what we saw. So simply map that column from the source uh, to the target set. That's it. You are almost done. So now you can save it. The field um, in the mapping what we created. The mapping is valid. So you are good to run the mapping to verify uh, whether the column and to rows conversion is happening as we expected. Okay. Now the job has been kicked off. So now you should see three rows. Okay, source uh, it's one row which consists of three columns. Those three columns have been converted to three rows. So that's it. So it has been successfully converted. See that source one and target three. So as I told in approach one, we are using three expression targeting each column and uh, pointing to three target instances whereas now we simplified with the normalizer with the effective way so in case of uh, uh, more number of columns with uh, uh, <clears throat> conversion like this uh, you no need to panic you can make use of normalizer the way i uh, explained it so it will make your life easy okay thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel okay thank you